Eat the Rainbow is the subject of today's Food for Thought. Good morning, my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to our daily live health tip to help you lose weight and feel fantastic. So today we are talking about rainbows. We talk about rainbows every day, but today we're going to talk about it in a food fashion because uh, one of my friends, Tina, who runs the Lime Tree Living website, has launched a brand new challenge today. It's a mini challenge for seven days and all you have to do is to try and eat all the seven colours of the rainbow, or six colours of this rainbow, uh, for the next seven days. So if you go to a website which is tagged on this video, you get to download this sheet. So along here, you've got all the days of the week, uh, then you've got all the colours of the rainbow, and what foods fit into those categories. Now, preferably, print it off like I have here. Uh, unfortunately, I do only print in black and white. So what I've done is got my uh, uh, niece's colours out. <laughs> and I did a little bit of colour myself. So you can see we've got here green, red, orange, yellow, purple, stroke, blue, um, and then beige. Now there isn't, I couldn't actually find a beige colour. So I've done it in a very like light orange, but that is beige. So what we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to be ticking off. So when I've eaten something green today, I will be ticking this when I've eaten something red. But what I wanted to do is to actually go through the colours and actually what is down um, on these lists. So under green, you've got artichoke, asparagus, avocado, bamboo shoots, green peppers, buck choy, also known as pat choy, uh, broccoli, brussels sprouts, cabbage, celery, cucumber, uh, edam beans, green beans, garden peas, rocket, spinach, lettuce, Swiss chard, kale and okra. So uh, to be honest the green one's really simple because a lot of those things are quite easy to eat. Even people who hate fruit and veg will have a slice of cucumber. So check, that one's easy in my mind. Okay, next colour, red. We've got red peppers, beetroot, red onions, red cabbage, reddish rhubarb, tomatoes, and radicho. So, easy ones there for everyone, I think, is red peppers, probably red onions, and even tomato as well. So again, I think that's another easy one. Uh, orange, uh, carrots, orange peppers, pumpkin, butternut squash, sweet potato, and turmeric root. Now you're probably thinking, why is orange not in orange? Why is the fruit orange not on there? Uh, and that's because we're really focusing, or this is really focusing on nutrients instead of high sugar things. So that's why the orange is not on there, by the way. Um, so again, I think most people like carrot, so sh that should be the easiest one on there. Although I do think it is getting a little bit more challenging now. Uh, let's go on to yellow. Now yellow, the top one here is so simple. Sweet corn. Who doesn't like sweet corn? It's sweet. It doesn't really taste like a vegetable. So that's a good one to start with. Uh, the next one, yellow peppers, green, uh, sorry, ginger root, summer squash and lemons. And again, just having a little twist of slice of lemon in your Diet Coke or preferably your water uh, is a nice, easy way to do that one. Purple, olives. I know a lot of people don't like olives. Purple carrots, they are expensive. That's the only issue with that. Uh, purple sweet potato. I've never had a purple sweet potato. Kale, I thought kale would have been on green, but I guess uh, you can get the uh, darker shaded kale. That's why it's on there. Purple potatoes, blueberries is on here, guys. So blueberries, I think, is a really easy one to get your purples in. Uh, red cabbage, again, uh, a lot of people like that. If you think about uh, Christmas, if you think about carveries, uh, everybody always tucks into the purple red cabbage. Uh, black rice, so that's a nice one. So black rice is also on there. And then aubergine, my favourite. So I would say probably the easiest one there for people would be blueberries. And then finally, uh, the beige category. Now, beige, the colour, especially when it comes to food, has got quite a bad name because we associate beige foods with 
bread and pasta and stuff like that but actually there is some nutrients in some beige foods uh, and they are chickpeas cauliflowers mushrooms shallots seeds onions garlic turnips fennel nuts lentils and parsnips so you just think about all those foods that I've just said there, uh, especially you have something like a stir fry, you could literally get all your colours in one stir fry. Uh, and if you buy one of those bags of stir fries as well from a uh, supermarket, you pro again, you're probably going to hit all those colours all in one go. And just to add the beige, you might just want to put a little bit of uh, nuts or seeds on the top as well. Uh, but there is mushrooms as well in the beige. So, so that is the rainbow challenge. The link is is there on the top of this video guys download it follow it uh, and it's something nice to focus on instead of focusing on calories or something quite complicated just make your plate as rainbowy as possible right that's it from me for now guys feel free to leave us a comment uh, and if you're watching over on youtube click on subscribe bye for now